Hi traders, is the market crashing? Are we about to crash? Let's take a technical view of the market. Before that, my account. I mean, I'm red for the day, very red for the day. Over $16,000 with one huge loser in MRNA. I took a big chance, I missed it. Anyway, it happens, it's a part of the game. Now let's go back to the market. Recently, we were moving higher, I mean more than recently, and then we started coming down and Right here, we discussed this very interesting bear flag formation in the trading room. You see this several days holding near the same level and we thought about this bear flag formation and we were wondering whether we we're going to break down underneath or not and we did. And once we did, we had a big downside day and then a big crash. This big crash over here, a big huge gap down, um, you know, when, when you have a big, a big gap down like that, you expect it to close. So again, we discussed what might happen. Are we going to move higher and close the gap? Are we going to continue down? More likely, like what happens 80% of the time, is that gaps are getting closed. So when you have a big gap like that, normally at around 10 days, up to 10 days from the day where the gap was created, you would expect it to get closed. And market did move up and close the gap. Now, if you were expecting this move higher, which closed the gap to continue to a new high, you're normally mistaken because once the market is moving up to close a gap, it is likely to stop at the point where it closed the gap, actually a little bit higher in this case, and then continue with the momentum. And that's exactly what happened. So, so far, the market is very, very technical. We came down strong, we moved up, we closed the gap. The only reason we came up was to close the gap and now we're coming down again. Now take a look at the last two days. When you take a look at the last two days, you can see that we're holding near the low. So again, we're building some kind of a bear flag formation right over here. And you know, we tried to move higher several times. For that, we need to take a look at the intraday formation and which we are about to do so. But before that, if you take a look at the daily, you can see that there's some topping tails, which means we tried to move higher there's two topping tails in the last two trading days and now again we're holding the lows now take a clear look at this 433 SPY area of support this is a very strong recent support I mean it's just for the last week and a half or so but it is a strong support if we're going to break down under 433 then <laughs> bye bye market for I don't know for another drop and again I'm a trader I don't care if the market's not going to crash now or not but definitely when the market is coming down what you're supposed to do as a trader is just you know add a little bit more size when the market's coming down and possibly if you think you like a trade and you like something that goes higher and you like to go along something probably the best thing to do is just reduce your size. So trust the downside momentum more. Again, I'm a trader. I will take whatever comes. If the market will start moving higher for whatever reason, if I'm wrong for whatever reason, then I will join the market. I will go long, but with lower size. If the market is going to keep coming down, like what happened, uh, for example, in the uh, Corona crisis back at the beginning of 2020, we did a lot of money shorting the market and adding more size as we trusted the market to continue coming down. So that's what I'm trying to say right here. This is, or this could be the start of a new downtrend or maybe a crash, no idea. But if it is, just you know, be, be ready for that and start increasing your size slowly. I already increased my size. That did not work out today well with mRNA, but I did the right thing. And hopefully, I mean, if the market is going to continue coming down and I will continue to raise my size, I'll make good money from uh, the market uh, continuing to come down. Now let's, let's take a look at uh, five minute candles and see what's going uh, on uh, the last few days. Okay, so, Here's the big um, move down that we had recently. I mean, just two days ago or three days ago. I mean, that's not the big crash we saw earlier on the daily. That's the one that took us back to the lows. Again, this 433 level, which is right over here. Look at the support. We've been there several times. One, two, three, uh, four today. So we've been there and we bounced. And now the big question is whether we're going to come down under this 433. But take a look at what happens in the last three days. Again, this big move down, trying to move higher, and then finishing very close to the lows. You know, when the market's coming down very strong and then trying to pull back up, you always have 
uh, the thought in the back of your mind, well, maybe we've just been there and now we're going to, you know, come back up to the highs. But no, we finished at the low, which means the sellers are in control. The sellers are in the driving seat. That's what you need to think about all the time. Who's winning? Who's, who's driving this, this, this car? Who's, who's going to crash this car? So the sellers are the ones who are in the driver's seat right now. And again, the next day, you see that we started with a gap up. Again, a chance to move higher. We came down. We almost closed the gap. We tried to move higher. We failed. We came down to the, again. We closed the gap. And then we tried to move higher once more, and again we failed. Yesterday we finished at the lows again, which means again the sellers are in the driving seat. Well, this day is not over yet. But how many proofs do we need to have for the fact that the sellers are in control? They are definitely in control. Now take a look again. We started with a give with a gap up, you could think, well, maybe we'll, we'll move higher again. And yes, we tried. We went to the, back to the highs, failed once more, came up again, failed once more, and right now back down. So we're just into trading almost two hours right now, and we are trending lower. And this day is not over, but from what I'm seeing right now, remember this 433 level over here. If we're going to come down, well, bye-bye <laughs> market. Or from the perspective of a day trading, of a day trader, lots of shorts and big money is coming our way. Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please give us a thumb up. I would really appreciate that. And uh, what is your opinion about where the market is going? Do you think it's going to come down? Do you think it's going to move higher? Well, how about write your opinion right here in the comments below and we will discuss that. I am promised to answer each and every uh, of your questions. And thank you again. You can subscribe to this channel right over here and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of my future uploads. And don't forget that the World Series of Day Trading is coming our way next month and you can subscribe right now. There's links below this video and a short video that will explain what is the World Series of Day Trading all about. Don't forget, it's the biggest world trading competition and uh, you're all invited to join. Everyone can join from all around the world. This competition now is open to everyone and there's a short video now explaining about this competition. Thank you for watching and see you tomorrow. The World Series of Day Trading returns for the sixth time, and this time the biggest prizes in history. Starting the 20th of October and lasting for six trading days. To take part in WSDT, you have to register and pass the verification process. It's your time to prove you deserve the most prestigious title in day trading. The best day traders on the planet gather to discover the new champion of the world. Trade a demo account for six days and prove you are the world's best trader. New to day trading? Don't worry about it. Whatever your level of experience, you're welcome to join. Win access to the biggest prize of all. It's time to prove that you are the next champion of the world. Register now to guarantee your seat. World Series of Day Trading is a registered trademark of WSDT World Series of Trading Limited. Residents of selected countries may compete. U.S. persons may not compete. The prizes awarded to the eligible winners are not transferable, redeemable, or exchangeable for any other prize. By participating in the competition, each participant and winner waives any and all claims of liability against WSDT.